Hello folks, this is Milton Crabapple and today I'm going to show you how to eat a fried fish. Now apparently a lot of you don't know how to do it on account of sometimes I tell people I'm cooking fish and they'll say, has it got bones in it? Well of course it's got bones in it. All fish have bones in them, all animals have bones in them, but you don't eat the bones. And anybody that don't know how to eat a fish well, I take it they just weren't raised proper, if you ask me. So watch closely. I'm going to show you how to eat a fried fish and get the bones out of it, okay? Watch closely. Now, the first thing you do is you take the fried fish. Now, this is a bluegill. That's my all-time favorite to eat. First thing you want to do is remove the tail and remove the outer parts of the fins. But now you don't chop them off, you eat them. On account of that's the best part of the fish and that's always where you start. But you don't just bite the tail off in one bite. What you do is you eat it off in sections all the way down to where it gets tough. And when you get down to where it gets tough, you stop eating it. Here's how you do it, watch close. Now that's how you remove the tail from a fish. Then you remove the tips of them fins the same way. Mighty delicious eating. Now the next thing you do is you lay the fish on a plate and you grab this dorsal fin on the top and you just pull on it starting at the back and you pull all the way up to the front and that pulls all them bones out you lay them aside you do the same thing on the bottom you pull them fins out takes all the bones out and you lay them aside now you start up here and you work toward the tail and you just take your fork and you just pull that meat right off of them bones you see them backbones are slanted backwards, so you just pull that meat right off of them bones, just like so, real easy to do. You see how it comes right off there. Now you turn it over, you pull this meat off. And now you're pretty much done, you see. You got the backbone, now what I like to do there's some meat on them ribs too, so I like to eat them ribs too. But mostly now you got all your meat over here. This has no bones in it. And you can gnaw them ribs if you want to. I like to do that too. Some people throw it away. But there you go. That's how you get all the meat off of a fish without getting the bones. You got a little bit left right there. Don't want to waste that part. And there you have it, folks. That's how you eat the fish. Excuse me while I take some of this meat and eat it. Yes, sir. Mighty tasty and no bones. Mm-mm.